At the second World Endurance Championship race of the season, Lucas de Grassi, Loic Duval and Oliver Jarvis achieved their first combined victory for Audi. But it was a long, hard fight and a dramatic race. The trio are now looking forward with confidence to this year's climax at Le Mans. But now, let's have a look at the race in Spa. Among the 58,000 spectators was Matthias Müller, chairman of the Volkswagen AG and the managing director of Audi AG's technical development, Dr. Stefan Knirsch. Having qualified in positions 4 and 6, both r tried to put pressure on the leaders from the very start. In the first curve, De Grassi, with the start number 8, overtook Conway in the Toyota and Trilloyi in the Audi 7 caught the second Toyota driven by Buyemi. Shortly after the Eau Rouge, Trelouillet then overtook Conway, putting Audi behind both Porsches in positions 3 and 4. About an hour later, Toyota starts fighting back to battle it out for the leadership, Buemi clashing here with De Grassi. In the meantime, the Porsche with the number 2 develops hybrid problems and falls right back, and after Buemi is able to pass Trelouillet in the Audi, this is now a fight for second place, a fight which De Grassi initially loses. After another hour, Porsche once again runs into problems. Leader of the field, Timo Bernhardt, has to drive almost an entire 7km circuit with a damaged tyre, so Audi and Toyota take advantage and overtake. But Audi too gets into trouble a little later. Trelloyi in the R18, who had in earlier rounds already complained about car vibration and after a quick inspection was pulled into the box, losing precious time on the leaders. We saw that something had broken under the car and we knew we definitely had to replace it. The biggest problem is the Eau Rouge, where the forces are so strong that the car gets shaken around too much. In the end, it's enough for fifth place for the trio Fessler, Lotterer and Trelloyi. But the real decisive part of the race takes place some two hours before the end. The Japanese driver, Nakajima, for Toyota is way ahead when engine failure sends him out of the race. It was only Audi with the start number 8 who completed the Arden roller coaster ride with negligible problems. Oliver Jarvis won with a lead of two laps, a great win for which the trio have been waiting for for a long time. It's a first win for myself and Lucas in the World Championship, so we've got the monkey off our back, now it's time to go to Le Mans and repeat it. With this victory under their belts, Audi can now begin their preparations for the season's highlight, the 24-hour race at Le Mans.